I mean, no breaking does. news. I got some breaking news for everybody on the show right now. Devin White will be out for the Friday night game with an ankle injury. He will not yes, travel. Yes, he with showed up on the injury report. Yeah. Um, and uh, another conspiracy theory, because a certain someone outplayed a certain someone. Well, you didn't hear that here, did you? Oh, you did consistently. You hear everything here on Birds 365. If you're a loyal listener, Johnny Mack uh, brings the brings the heat every single day and gives us updates. And we we I always say, John and Mike, uh, our our listeners are some of the most educated Eagles fans uh, in the country uh, in the world because we have viewers from all over the place. Mike, last question, man. Thanks for hold on, real quick. So are they going to go with Bond and Dean? Yeah, yeah. Right. All right. Which was. My prediction. And I would, uh, that means kill. Trotter Jr. will be dressed, yes. right, John? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, now, hey, nicobe has got to perform. Um, John, and... are you going tinfoil hat on this? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, th- <laughs> now, but it's not even a conspiracy. I mean, this is this is how it should have been. I, I fully expected Nicobe Yeah, but Dean, the whole I... Devin White not, not even going thing? He's got to be actually injured. I right? saw him in the locker room. He was pretty happy yesterday. He was pretty, moving around pretty well. Um, now, I'm not saying, as I always said, I said the same thing with uh, um, James Bradbury. And I said the same thing with uh, Anaya Smith. Look, they're NFL players. He's been playing a long time. It, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with his ankle. There's probably something wrong right. with his ankle. I'm, what I'm saying, the conspiracy part is, they're taking advantage of a little banged up to put the guy they want on the field. Uh, And if everything goes smoothly, you're never going to see the Devin white era. Wow. Now, if, 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 if Nicobe, because you've been on my show saying you thought that Dean would take over for Bond eventually, I think, right? Well, yeah, right. But I've shifted from, um, I shifted from uh, it, for, it. It was White and Bond, where the Eagles went through the whole training camp, and I ultimately said it would be White and Dean together. But when the Eagles put out their first depth chart, it became White slash Dean, the old college trick. You're a West Virginia guy. You know how college uh, teams put together their depth charts. So when they don't have a clear starter, they use the slash. It became White slash Dean. And Bond was by himself. So at that point, I shifted to, oh, it's going to be Nicobe and Zach Bond. And yeah, here we are. Um, now, again, if Zach, if, if, if Zach plays poorly, if Nicobe plays poorly against a very good offense, Devin White might be out there against Atlanta in week two. But this is the opportunity. If they play well, they're not leaving the field. The amount of people that have been criticizing John McMullen this offseason for his for his Devin White projections. Hey, I was right that, there. I mean, not, again, I'm going to be presenting Mike you with there. Mike, yeah, Mike, was, Mike yeah, Mike understood. Mike, I, I Mike was talked there. to a bunch of people in Tampa. I'm I was going to say, yeah, I talked to a lot of people in Tampa, and they were not very complimentary. <laughs> let's just say of uh, White's play and his in his unwillingness to really want to learn and get better and like, you know, just use kind of natural talents and people start to see you on film and over pursue and not great in coverage and yada, yada. Um, and you had a player in the last couple of years, which who was not the same player as he was two, three years ago. Yeah. So John uh, is, 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 is Nicobe going to play the mic and, and, and ball yeah. at the will. Yeah. 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 Nicobe's going to have the green dot and he should. And by the way, I got to see Nicobe in uh, the locker room over the past couple of days. Remember, we're not in the locker room until first time we were in the locker room was Sunday. Uh, we don't get to go in the locker room during uh, training camp any longer post COVID. Um, they never he, lifted that. No, we're they lifted it, but we only when the regular season starts. So okay. from there, from the preparation standpoint. Uh, that would be Sunday, and uh, that's the first time we're in the locker room. I got first time I I saw Nicobe up close. Yeah, you know, 
it's a locker room to be blunt, uh, with a tank top on, shirt off. Guy's jacked, man. He took it complete. So we were talking about his physicality, which is surprising because he's an undersized guy. Well, he took his rehab and he couldn't do anything with his lower body because he had Liz Frank surgery. And he just built himself up in his upper body. And he's been out physical in people um, all throughout the summer. Last three weeks, it was not close. Xander knows. I've been saying it, it was not close when it came to the linebackers. It was Nicobe and everybody else. Now, he's got to prove it against Green Bay, but he's the Eagles' best linebacker. So I wouldn't be wringing my hands if I were Eagles fans about this this injury, even remotely. But that's me. Mike, last question, man, on the way out. Got to get your prediction to last time we'll talk to you before the game. We've talked all off season. We've we've analyzed this team through and through for the last three, four, or five months. Uh, what's your thought going into Week One here? Who gets the win? Uh, what's your score prediction for a Friday night's game in in Sao Paulo? Uh, I kind of like Philly to win the game. There's been so much trepidation and all this stuff. It feels like one of those nights where they just kind of come out and almost calm everybody down, and then the overreaction will start. Uh, the following week, and and you'll start to hear the teams going to the Super Bowl. They looked awesome. Uh, so I think you're going to see a big offensive night with Kellen Moore's new offense. I think, you know, remember the Chip Kelly night where they just went out and were unstoppable against uh, Washington that night. I think you're going to get a big night. So like 35, Woo. 20, a lot two, of points. somewhere in there, 35, 22, uh, Philadelphia. I like it. That's uh, like it. that's that's bold. Uh, that's essentially a blowout in the NFL. It's not a college blowout, but that's a blowout. That's a good team. I'll tell you what. I I do hope the Eagles win this game from the standpoint of I don't want to deal with this all season that they lost a home game and they lost to Green Bay and that's going to impact them down the road. And the only way to stop that, Mike, is to win the football game. Yeah, because if they lose it. That's going to be a narrative the whole season. If it feels very the way things have been going in Philly sports recently. You, you get the hot start, you get off to the good start, and then somewhere along the line, you kind of hit the the cruise control. Yeah, yeah. well, that part's true too. Because if the Eagles start ten and one, people are be like, "All right, let's wait and see." Yeah. <laughs> By the way, for the people asking, how do you get to twenty two? I don't know. There's two point conversions, miss point after attempts all over the place in this league. Yes. They got a new kicker down they there. They got a new kicker. Yeah, they got that a new might kicker be the down Eagles there. Who, by the way, advantage. made every single um, point after attempt in his college career, and then in the preseason he shanked one. Uh, so twenty two. I don't know. I just came up with a number that sounded like somewhere like they're trying to get back in the game, and you you get to a weird number. So twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, somewhere in there, thirty five. Low 20s for Green Bay. I like it. Good stuff, Mike Gill. Appreciate you being here, man, on, on the show today. Good insight. Low, nothing like some breaking news coming on air. Yeah. I appreciate you being here, Mike. We'll talk to you next week. All right, man. Hopefully the Eagles yeah. are 1-0 and o by that point. And at Mike Gill's show, 97.3, uh, the Sports Bash, 2-6 to six every day. Um, listen to Mike there. Also, the official home of the Eagles in South Jersey. That's right. You're down the shore, sitting on the beach. You can bring the radio and listen to the game on 97.3. Good stuff, Mike. We'll talk to you next week. All right, man. See you guys. Thanks, there Mike. There's Mike Gill joining us on Birds 365. Johnny Mack, breaking news, man. Uh, what do you? What's your? What's your first? What's your? What's your react? I know you kind of gave it with Mike, but I want to get it with just you here yeah, now man. on the show. Uh, John, I'll tell you what, man. I, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say make a proclamation on Devin's whole season because of this. But I tell you what, if this guy does not contribute to this team like everybody expected this year, Why I better see I better see Johnny Mac apologies in the chat oh, all I, season. Well, long. I agree with that, but I I hope no one would care if Nicobe turns into um the player I think he can turn into. Um, but you know I'm not going to say the Eagles aren't going to need Devin White. There's injuries, and we know Nicobe's injury history last year, so. You need depth. Um, but look, Nicobe's a better player. 
Um, and yeah, but he'll Zach either Bond prove it or he won't prove it. Zach, Zach Bond, is he a better player too than Devin White? I mean, I'd rather have Nakobe and Devin. Um, at least I, I, I mean, there's a lot of uncertainty with Zach Bond um, because he's essentially, although he's played off ball linebacker, he's played mainly uh, on the edge. Um, I think, I think, and this is just speculation, I think he's trying to turn him into an Andrew Van Ginkle type player uh, who can do both as he used in Miami. And by right. both, I mean, he can uh, be an all ball linebacker and be an edge rusher and have that flat defender who can go in coverage. And Van Ginkle did it at a very high level last year in Miami. And I, I don't know if it's realistic to think that Zach Bond could do it at that kind of level, but I think he wants that type of player. And I think he fits that mold so it becomes, all right, I want him on the field for that role. And then it, you, you, it's just about middle linebacker. And then it becomes Devin White or N'Kobe Dean. And I get why people in Philadelphia would want Devin White because of what went on with N'Kobe Dean last year. Um, I think Tamp, people in Tampa would laugh at you. Um but they don't know about the Nicobe Dean. Um, so, you know, it's basically, as I said, Nicobe has to prove himself. I mean, he, if he goes out there against Green Bay and he, because I guarantee you, I guarantee you, Matt LaFleur's whole game plan starts with taking advantage over the, uh, the Eagles over the middle of the field. Right. I guarantee you. So there's going to be plenty of opportunities for Nicobe Dean to screw up. And if he doesn't perform, like I said, you might see Devin White out there in week two. But he's got a chance now. If you're on the field and you're performing well, nobody's right. taking you off the field. Right. We're going to see what they end up doing uh, at the linebacker position. Breaking news for anybody just joining in. Big crowd here. Appreciate everybody being here. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Burris 365 is live 8 to 10 every day, and we will be live all season long, Monday through Friday, covering this football team. Devin White has been ruled out and will not even travel with the team to Sao Paulo, Brazil. So he is out for Friday night, uh, the first big get guy out for the Eagles on Friday. So we'll see. I think that should be it, at least for now, but we will be following it all along. That means it's time for N'Kobe Dean to step up and be that first linebacker for this team. Uh, we will see how it works out for the Eagles on Friday night versus the Packers in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Appreciate everybody being here. As I mentioned, drop that like. We're going to take a commercial break, and we'll come back and talk to Brandon Lee Gowan, BLG uh, of Bleeding Green Nation. Does a great job covering this team. Uh, it would be good to get his insight on what he thinks about Devin White being out uh, and his projections and preview of the Eagles versus Packers on Friday night in Brazil. Stay tuned, everybody. Birds 365 will be right back. If you missed any of today's show on the Jacob Media channel, listen to the podcast on your way home. Available on YouTube, Apple, and Spotify. 